Hello there. Today I want to get better at talking to my camera and not feeling super weird about it and not have my mind go blank every five seconds because I don't know why. I don't do this when I'm talking to real people. It's not like I freeze up and I'm like, I don't know what to say. Maybe because there's like the stimulation of having another person there and when I'm just talking to, you know, the top point of my camera, my phone, where the camera is, it's not, it's not engaging me. Maybe if I ever have people watch me and leave comments, I can imagine that I'm talking to them, but not having anybody, I haven't actually even put a video up yet, so... I don't have any image in my head of people that might ever watch this, so it's hard for me to... It's just hard. See? There we go with the mind blankness again. I also feel really weird about saying hello to the camera, and I guess I feel weird about saying hello to people, period, because I always end up saying something stupid like, hello! And it just, it's never good. I don't know. You don't care. So today I want to talk about the new Anwen palette by You Can Be and turn myself into a mermaid. It's got some really pretty greens and a really pretty blue and purples and that just always makes me think of, you know, mermaid hair and aesthetic so so we're going for mermaid today and I also want to talk about what I like and what I dislike about it in case there's anyone who has been thinking about buying it but hasn't yet and hopefully if they're looking for someone else's take on it there's probably already a ton because I've been putting off making this video so I don't know, maybe someone will stumble across it, and if it helps someone, or if I can, Let's see, I don't know. There I go again. Lost train of thought. So we're just going to get right into it. This is the palette, and if you're here, I'm sure that you know who Anwen is, because I can't imagine someone stumbling across this video that has, you know, stumbling across a channel that has no subscribers. It just doesn't make sense, you know, with the YouTube analyticals. Tangents! Anyway, palette, Anwen, gorgeous. Uh, I'm, I'm not really into the whole packaging thing. I know a lot of people can really talk a lot about the packaging, but... I care what's in the palette and not so much the outside, even though this is very pretty. I don't know if you can see the transition between yellow and pink. I, yeah, you can see it, I think. Camera should be picking that up. And it's got like a, um, like a reptilian print going on. This is the inside of the palette. I've used it quite a few times already, so you can definitely see where I've dipped my brushes and fingers in. Um, today I am eyeing these purples and these blues and greens. That is really showing up as like blue on the camera, but it's actually like really green. That looks really true to life. And that looks more blue too, but that is also definitely green. Yeah, like at that angle, that's really more what it actually looks like. Huh. Weird. Okay, so we're going to begin. Um, go ahead and tell you what I'm starting with. I'm going to start with purple in the crease, and, um, then we'll figure out from there.
it works so much better with the smudge brush. So I absolutely recommend that if you already have the palette and are having trouble, or if you get the palette and end up having trouble, especially with purple, try to use a smudge brush. Um, the one I'm using is by Shani or Shani Brushes. I'm not sure on the pronunciation, but I, I really like the set that I got. Um, and yeah, smudge brush, A+. Plus. So next I'm going to, I don't know, what am I going to do next? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just take care of my... Uh, under lash line and I'm gonna take some of Andreas and apply him right against my lash line I really hope I can put some music in here because I feel like it's going to be really boring for you if I can't, but if I can't, then I'll try and make the clips as short as possible. So next I'm going to go in with Andreas on the outside corner. Okay, next I'm going to go in with Sardinia and put that on my on the rest of my lid and fade it into Andreas. Yes, I said it right. I forgot the other thing that I was going to do on my bottom lash line after Andreas was go back in with purple and just line right under Andreas. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do before I just tidy it all up is apply Icy Clean into my inner corner. So now I'm just going to go in and tidy everything up and get it exactly how I want it to be. The last thing I'm going to do before I add my eyeliner and mascara is take a little bit of Sardinia and put it in the very center of my lash line. Just to brighten things up a little bit.
forget about the brow highlight, I'm also going to highlight my brow with Icy Clean, which is what I used on my inner corner. So I generally like to use whatever I use on my inner corner on my brow highlight. And because I always end up going overboard, I'm going to pop Unicorn in the very center of my lids. I just put a tiny little bit, just a tiny little dot, pea-sized dot, on the center of my lids to add a little bit more color, like we need it, and I guess to kind of draw things into the center of the eye. I think it personally makes my eyes look a little bit bigger when I have a highlighted center lid. So we finish, and then we'll be back. By finish, I mean finish eyeliner and mascara. So this is my final and completed look with mascara, eyeliner, badly badly done eyeliner, and not great lipstick. I don't think I should have done this. I think I look like an octopus now instead of a mermaid. Um, mm, let me know if you hate it because I need some outside input. Sometimes I kind of like it. I love having, what I usually do is, um, whatever is on my crease, I will put on my entire lip, and then whatever is on my lid or the inner corners, I'll either, like, take some of the eyeshadow. That's not this. Um, this is actually, this is a Lime Crime, um, Lime Crime stuff. Lime Crime Lip Smasher, crush, Lip Smash, Lip Crushers Diamond. This is Lime Crime Diamond Crushers Lip Topper in the shade Meadow, which not like this, I think is such a beautiful, awesome color. Um, yeah, I have a lot of, I have a lot of shades to try to be mermaid. Um... But yeah, outside input would be great. If you hate the look, let me know. If you like it, let me know. Also, you know, if you hate the eyeshadow, let me know. And I'll try to do better next time. Um, final thoughts on uh, the beautiful Anne Wins palette is overall, especially now that I know to use a smudge brush for blending the mattes, especially purple, uh, purple was actually the first color that I tried, and, you know, I started off doing my crease with it. Ugh. And, uh, I was very disappointed. It made me unhappy that I had bought the palette, but, you know, I was, I was using a regular crease brush, much fluffier, and when I, you know, tried using different brushes, I found that using a more compact, shorter, um, it, it says it's a smudge brush, it says see, it's a smudge backwards to you. Uh, now I have absolutely no qualms about it. I like it just as much as any matte that I like from previous palettes. So, what else? Um, yeah, my final thoughts are I give it four and a half stars out of five, and the four and a half is simply because of 
the trouble that I had before I found the smudge brush uh, tip, um, whatever. So, yeah, other than that, you know, I said that I would like it better if some of those were different, but that's personal preference. You may like those colors a lot more than I do. So I'm not going to knock it for that. Uh, if you love colorful, if you love awesome quality shimmers, who would not? Uh, I absolutely recommend this palette. Uh, I don't know Anwen. I respect her immensely, but I've... The most I've ever done is leave a couple of comments on her page. I've never actually spoken to her. She doesn't know I exist, so I have no no bias as to why I would promote something that I don't like. Um, I mean, I guess I am a little bit biased because I like her, but I don't think that really affects how I feel about the palette. And to conclude, my most cap of audiences. Just kidding. Um, I want to, before I go, thank Anwen for putting so much time and energy into her channel and her palette. Uh, by the way, I did not mention how cute I think the names of the shades are and how pretty the packaging is. Uh, she did a really good job. She does a really good job. Um, and thank you to everyone who has watched and everyone who is still watching, especially. Um, please do the things with the liking and subscribing. I would appreciate that. But mostly, above all, I would appreciate a comment and to know something about you. I think it's really cool that you could be anywhere in the world and having your own life and your own experiences and I want to I think it would help me to be able I mean I'm getting more comfortable the more I do this but I still think it would help to know what is happening on the other side of here um, to know something about the people that I may be speaking to through here. Um, so, you know, you don't have to tell me anything about yourself if you don't want to. I would, I would love a recommendation of a cool makeup product, and I would especially love a, I'm trying to break this, I would especially love, um, uh, indie products. I really want to know, um, any cool indie makeup brands. So, yeah. It's, it's a good palette. It's worth $13 for sure. That's it. That's it. That's it. J done. Bye that. Um, have a good night, a good morning, or just have the best day. And stay, stay safe and well. Please do that. I'm not going to acknowledge that whole thing outside of that, but be safe. Bye-bye.